y'all so welcome back to gm outdoors i hope everybody's having a fantastic day today uh, the weather's finally decided to take a turn for the better here and the sun's starting to peek through the clouds there so i figured what a better time than to come out here and do another product review for y'all so today we're going to be doing a product review on the olafus motion security light uh Olafus is a company that has a variety of different things to pick from. Anything light, uh, decorative lights, interior, exterior, flood lights, work lights, even party lights. They've even got some speakers on there too. Uh, everything in the images and things seems to be of high quality. Uh, but today I've got a 5500 lumen motion security light. It's supposed to have about 335 degree uh, broadcast of the light. And I'm going to replace this one here in between my two garage doors that come on the house when we bought it. So it's a very old light. And uh, this one here is all LED and should save me 85% more on my electric bill. Uh, so come along with us here and stick around. We'll put this thing up together. Come on. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get this box opened up here. So like I said before, this is the Olavis 5500 lumen motion security light. Alright. So right out the gate here, you can tell that it's packaged well. So that way it stays good and safe on the way in. Got our instructions here. Got some hardware here. Let's see what else? Some wire nuts, some screws there. Let's go ahead and get the get the light itself out now. Alrighty. So yeah, right off the bat, I can tell it's made out of really nice material here, and I love how these lights are adjustable. Or you can really fit it to your needs, whatever you're trying to do. Oh yeah. So it just flips up there. You can adjust them all the way around. All these are LED, which is going to be super bright. And here's the motion sensor, which has got a 120 degree range of motion on it to pick up. And underneath here is all the settings. So you've got the uh, motion sensitivity setting right here. The uh, what time of day it will come on. So uh, minus, all the way minus, will only work at night. And all the way plus here will only work uh, will work day and night. And then you've got the run time for how long the light will actually stay on once it picks up motion. I think the minimum is two minutes and the maximum is seven minutes. So, And of course you've got your wires here in the back. Your uh, white, black, and ground. So let's go ahead and uh, get this old one off the house and put the new one up. Alrighty, so first things first, you want to make sure you got the power cut off to the light you're going to be working on. Uh, so before you do anything to it at all, make sure you go cut the breaker off to it. Because if you don't, that electricity will remind you real quick in a hurry that you should have done it. <laughs> so anyhow, I done went and cut the breaker off this particular light we're going to be working on. And uh, let's go ahead and get the old one off and get the new one put back on. Alrighty, well the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove these light bulbs out of here. And like I said, this thing is old, old. We've lived here about at this house for about seven, eight years now, and I've never even changed the bulbs in this thing. So I've been meaning to change it for a long time, just never got around to it because it always kind of worked. But I'm very excited to put this new Olafus one up because I know it's going to be about 15 times brighter than this one right here is. So let me get a screwdriver and start taking them screws out. All right, get these screws out right fast. So now if you notice how this old one is attached to the uh, house here, it just has uh, has the wires directly to it. And you got to hold this light up here like this while you're trying to get these wires put all up and everything. Hold it up there, push it all back in there, and screw it in there. Now I'm going to show you something cool that Olafus has done to make this whole process a little bit easier. But first, let's get these wire nuts off of here and go ahead and get this light off the house and out of the way. Alrighty, so what Olafus has done... Uh, to make that process a little bit easier, is they've sent this uh, this mounting bracket plate along with a gasket that goes on the back of it to keep the water from getting inside. Uh, and so what you'll do is you'll put this piece of metal up on the house and uh, run screws through it to hold it on the house. Now this will be on the house attached already. So whenever you go to put this light up there, 
instead of having to get your holes lined up and uh, and start tightening everything up while you're holding the light up there, all you've got to do is uh, you'll have your, your wires run through this bracket like so. And uh, like I said, this will already be on the house. So you'll have that up there and you just put that up there. And then while you're holding this up, all you have to deal with is one bolt. You'll just put that bolt right there in the middle of that light and uh, tighten it up. And that's what holds the light onto the house. Uh, much, much simpler than having to hold the weight of the light up there and uh, getting all the holes lined up and everything and screwing it to it. Uh, it's just a whole lot simpler to have the bracket already on the house. And then you literally just put the light on the bracket and you've got one supplied bolt that goes right through there to hold it on there. So uh, let's go ahead and get the bracket up there and uh, get this new light put up. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and attach the pad that comes with this. I'm just going to peel off the center like that. And I'm going to apply it directly to the back side of that circle bracket there. Just like that. Then I will cut out a little hole here to put my wires through. That should be perfect. Alrighty, so I went ahead and cut the hole out here uh, for the wires to stick through like that right there. Um, now, Olafus provides you with bolts and things that are good to uh, mount this bracket directly to a junction box. But however, in my situation, I'm just going to be drilling directly into the house. So I'm just going to be using uh, my drill and some of these Power Pro uh, two and a half inch screws because uh, that works for my particular situation. So that's what we're going to do now. So just run those wires through there like that right there. Go ahead and get your screw here. I'm going to be using two different screws. And that should hold it in place. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach our ground wire here to the, uh, the grounding screw on the mounting bracket. Go ahead and put it in there like that. Go ahead and get that good and tightened up there. And then we'll go ahead and hook the black. Uh, the live wire black to the black live wire on the house and the neutral white wire to the neutral white wire on the house. Pretty straightforward process there. I always like to tape these connections. I always like to tape them that way there's never a chance that they can come in contact with each other and maybe try to ground out or jump a spark or something like that. So tape is just an extra precaution.
Alrighty, and then now that you've got all your connections uh, wired, nutted together, and taped together real good, and the ground's on there real good, you can go ahead and tuck them all back into this hole here that you cut out of the bracket earlier. Get them all back in there, like so. And here's the part I was talking about, where you just have that one bolt to put in there. And get that adjusted up and out of the way where I got access to this bolt here. Tighten it up. And you can adjust it down to wherever you want it to be at. Which I'll probably have it right there. And just tighten. Go ahead and tighten up the adjustment screw back here in the back. And bend these outside here wherever you want them. And your sensor. And like I said, there's three adjustments on the bottom here too. Uh, once again, it's the uh, the sensitivity of the motion uh, and what time of day it comes on. You can have it run to where it's only on at night or it's on both night and day. Uh, and then the length of time it's on once it's triggered. So like I said, the minimum is two, the high is seven minutes. Uh, so I'm going to have it to where it only uh, comes on at night. So I'll twist that all the way over to the minus side there. And I'll put the sensitivity at about, about three quarters of the way. Maybe half. We'll see. And then I want it to run for probably about five minutes or so. So I'll put it about halfway. Then here comes the satisfying part. <laughs> peeling these. Oh yeah, peeling these stickers off. Listen to it. <laughs> I love doing that. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and cut the power back on and see if we can't take a look at it here during the daylight. Okay, so before I cut the power onto it here, I just really wanted to take a minute and show you how nice of a product this is. Uh, very clean, slim line, uh, just all around made, really nice. Uh, very sturdy, and uh, the lights hold their position very well, basically wherever, whichever way you turn them. And something that I didn't mention before was that on the back side of the lights uh, are these cooling fins that keep it cool. Uh, a lot of them don't have that or they only have a couple of them. This one's got them all the way across because LED lights do get hot and um, these cooling fins allow a lot, a lot more of a, a cooling action on the back for when the wind blows and to dissipate the heat. So uh, like I said, it's a really nice product. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it on and see how bright it is in daytime here. Man, oh man, that thing is bright. I can't believe it's that bright during the daylight. So let's uh, hang around here and wait till nighttime comes and we'll see how bright it is then. I guarantee it'll probably light up the whole front yard. Alrighty, so the sun finally went down on us here. Been a couple hours later. So I'm going to walk out here in front of this motion light here and see if it kicks on for me. Wow, <laughs> man, oh man, that thing is bright. 
I can't believe how bright that is. Look at this. You can see the whole front yard. <laughs> wow. I mean, look at that. You can see all the way down the road. The whole front yard. Man, oh man. What a great product. Super, super bright. Step back and look at it. Man, oh man. That's really something there. Wow. What a bright, bright light. I just can't get over how bright that is. And I tell you, you can't hardly look at it, it's that bright. I was, I am very, very much impressed with this Olafus uh, motion security light. 5500 lumen, it is just super, super bright. I was not expecting this. This has lit up the entire front yard, you know. That's insane. Uh, hope this video has done this light justice. I am thoroughly impressed with it. It has my approval. I highly recommend this product. I will definitely be leaving a link for it in the description below. Like I said, this is the Olafus. 5500 lumen motion security floodlight. Uh, just extremely bright. You can't even look at it. Uh, <laughs> I just can't get over how bright that is. It's insane. But uh, I sure do appreciate y'all watching this video. I uh, hope, hope uh, if you're in the market for a floodlight or a motion light, check this light out. You will not be disappointed for sure. Like I said, I'll leave a link for it in the description. And I appreciate y'all watching, and I will see you on the next one. Thank y'all.